Oh my god, no. No. Yeah, she's doing it. I'm just gonna let her, I'm, I'm, I'll clean it up because if I scare her right now, she's going to vomit anyways in the bed. And it happened. This is live. You guys just saw my cat throw up in the bed. Where am I going to sleep now? Now she's just laying down like nothing happened. <laughs> I'm back with a new video so I have some really bad news and I, I don't know if it's bad news yet um, but I have some not so happy news so unfortunately the goldfish are sick again but this time it is something really serious and I don't know how tired I sound to you guys. I'm like really, really tired. It's only been two days, but it has been a very stressful two days. So let me tell you guys what has happened. So it all started with the black telescope. Um, I told you guys in the last video where I updated you guys on them that they were being food aggressive with each other, but when I meant they, I meant the black telescope. That's the one that really bullies the others and doesn't let them eat. I found a way to manage it. Like, it was bad, but not really that bad. So what I had to do was feed more meals, but less amount. And that really seemed to help. But eventually, um, it just wasn't really something long-term helpful. So what I ended up deciding to do was to separate the black telescope from the other three goldies. So I placed the black telescope in a aquarium with some snails and yeah, it didn't do very well. I think it was just very stressful, like being in a tub and then all of a sudden going to like an aquarium with a glass viewing window and I don't know, like he was just not used to being able to see out like just I think the glass just really stressed him out because he didn't know what the function of the glass was and he just kept kind of crashing against it and trying to swim through it and it was bad so he was only in the aquarium about a week probably even less so what I think happened was that he was just so stressed out and it lowered his immune system which is why he got so sick like the other three aren't that bad, like really they're not really bad at all. So then after a few days, I decided to place them back in the tub, micro pond container thing with the other three goldfish and he was just not doing well. So then the next day, I just noticed that he was just really, really bad. So he didn't eat the whole day when I placed him in there back with the goldfish and he didn't want to eat the next day either so that made two days. So right when that happened, I started to freak out like, oh my god, what is wrong with you? I needed to find out what was wrong. So I looked everywhere like within these past two days, I've done so much research all about diseases in fish so eventually with the symptoms that this one was showing and like physical appearance i came to the conclusion that my fish have velvet these are the symptoms that he was showing he was very lethargic didn't move around much didn't swim much he was just kind of like barely swimming every now and then he would swim a bit but he was just not moving much and he was starting to hide like in the bottom like um, in the dark places and 
That scared the shit out of me. Another thing I noticed was that his eyes were cloudy. He was obviously refusing the food. And he had excess slime coat again with little white spots on it. But it looked totally different this time, unlike the last time with the excess slime coat and the calcium powder. Yeah, it didn't look like that at all. So a lot of these symptoms are advanced stages of this disease and that worries me. I don't know if he's gonna make it or not. I want him to make it. I'm doing everything I can for him. And to top it off, I got one of my cats neutered, which is really stressful too because he did need aftercare after the surgery. Actually, when they gave him to us, he was still like knocked out. Like he was conscious, but he couldn't move at all. So we took advantage of the situation and we asked the vet and the vet said it was okay. And we gave him a bath. Yeah, it was so weird seeing him like that. And I laid him on a table with a towel so that he would air dry and it was really weird like he was like on one side and then I wanted to flip him like to the other side so that he would dry evenly and it was so hard because he couldn't even support his head and I was there like literally like oh my god I need to support his head but I need to twist his body at the same time how do I do this no, I had no idea. It was pretty funny. Also, I had to spray like this stuff on his private area just to prevent infections and stuff like that. So yeah, taking care of my cat after the surgery while treating my fish, quarantining, monitoring water levels, temperature, all of that has really stressed me out. But I wouldn't change it for the world. Okay guys, so here is what is going on. We have a sick baby. Oh, you can't really see that because I have, you know, the lighting here is really bad. But, yeah, the little black telescope isn't doing too well. So I set up the quarantine tub again and he is going to be going in there for treatment. And sorry about my dog barking. Um, so right now I'm acclimating him and he'll go in there and I'll keep you guys updated on that. Okay, so I took some water out of the quarantine tub to pre-mix the medications in. So the label in the bottle says that it's specifically for ick and fungus, but I'm not really paying attention to that. I'm paying attention to the ingredients in the back and the main ingredient in this is alignite green. And oh, here's the fishy. I hate seeing him like that, like all by himself. So then I started to very slowly incorporate the medicated pre-mixed water onto the rest of the water in the quarantine tub. Okay guys, so here we are. It's been about, what, like four or five hours after that last footage and here is the fishy in there now. He's pretty much the same, nothing new has happened. He hasn't really improved or gotten worse. Um, so I'm just finishing up adding the meds in there in the water and over here I topped off uh, I topped off the water that I took out to go in there. And these guys, I'm gonna keep an eye on them because I might just have to treat them. And yeah, that is pretty much what happened today with these guys. Um, I'm really worried about this guy though. I hope he pulls through. I'm gonna finish up adding the meds in there and yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. What, what happened there? <laughs> Actually, that was him flashing and it's something that they do to relieve their discomfort from the parasites. I also added a thermometer in there so that I could rise the temperature to 82 degrees, which is helpful in this treatment. And here's the fishy again, just there, around.
Now back to the other three fatties. I took out the snails because I wanted to go ahead and treat these guys and the medications and actually the whole treatment that I'm using will kill them. Since the black telescope was in here with these guys, they also have the parasites. They just aren't showing the symptoms yet. And look at all those snails. How many snails do you guys think are in there? Oh my god, it looks so totally bare and ugly without the snails in there. <laughs> so again, I pre-mixed the medications into a little bit of water from the setup and I slowly started to add it in. The next day, the first thing that I did was I tested my water just to make sure that everything is okay because you guys already know that with sick fish, water levels are pretty important. And here are the results and it's actually really weird because my pH is always at 7.4 but this time it was at 8. I'm not sure why but it's actually good because it's not recommended that you use melanite green with lower pH levels so I'm not complaining. After that it was the time of the day to do water changes and oh look at that little guy he's always always looking for food it's so adorable. So because I'm going to be doing really tiny water changes, I'm just going to use a bucket. And into the tree it goes. That is great fertilizer by the way. First thing I did was add the dechlorinator. Then the water. And afterwards I dosed the medications according to the amount of water that I took out. And then I just make sure to incorporate everything together. And back into the main setup it goes. So what I did to one setup, I repeated it on the quarantine tub. I took out water and replaced it with clean, dechlorinated, and medicated fresh water. Next came the salt. I'm using one tablespoon of salt per 10 gallons of water. And I'm pre-measuring it into a little bit of the water from the setup. And I make sure to dissolve it into the water 100%. Afterwards, I slowly started to add the mixture into the rest of the water. And again, I repeated the same process for the micro pond. I measured out the salt, I dissolved it. And then I slowly started to add it into the setup. So then the next day on day three of the treatment, I offered the fishy some food but he ignored it and it just kind of gathered down there so I siphoned it out during the water change. And here is the tub all perfectly clean in the bottom. It looks beautiful. And there's the fishy. Oh he's so cute. So because I took out water that was already salted, I need to replace it with water that's already salted. So I need to prepare the water before it goes back in. 
because the fish are already used to that amount of salinity in the water and if I don't add the salt back in then I would be diluting the amount of salinity in the water and that's not good for the treatment. So again I pre-mixed it and dissolved it and incorporated it before adding it back into the quarantine tub. So in the bottle it says that after 48 hours I have to reapply the whole entire treatment again. So I'm dosing for the entire volume of water in the tub. And slowly I'm adding it back in. And I actually saw some of that dust and spots in this guy. So the velvet is definitely in this system as well, but luckily these guys don't, haven't changed behavior at all. They're still eating great and active and they're really good, thankfully. So that particular day, it was maintenance day on the sand and I just used a gravel bag to vacuum up the sand. It works just as well on sand as it does on gravel, you know, the sand is left behind and then the debris overflows out. So again, I'm pre-measuring and pre-dissolving the salt before I add it into the water, before I add it back into the setup. And like I said, what I do to one setup, I do to the other. I'm taking a little bit of water out of there and I'm dosing medications again for the entire volume of water. And then I'm slowly incorporating it into the rest of the water. So then the next day was day four of the treatment. No! <laughs> what is wrong with you? That's not yours. What is wrong with you? You already ate. So we are going to go ahead and try and feed and hopefully, fingers crossed, can't cross them. Um, he will eat. One down, two down, yummy food, and three down. One for each fishy. Please eat. Please eat. Please eat. Please. Please. Please take a bite, one bite, just one, please, no, not hungry, <sighs> oh my god, go for it, go for it, no, damn it, Ugh. why won't you eat, a few hours later, it was time for the daily water change again and as you can see this guy did not eat the food and I even offered some flakes like I have been offering a variety of foods not just what you guys are seeing and nope does not want them so I like to feed before I do water change so that I can siphon out the uneaten food before it starts to foul up the water on that particular day it was rinse off the filter sponges day which I did to both setups And just a heads up, this stuff does stain. So if you're going through this and you need to treat, I don't recommend you do it in your aquarium because you'll stain your stuff. So again, I'm dechlorinating and pre-medicating and pre-salting the water before it goes back in. I 
And of course I repeated this process on the other setup except today wasn't sand maintenance day so I used the other end of the gravel this time just to take out the water a lot faster. And I also rinsed off the sponge from this filter as well which was disgusting by the way. And again, I'm dechlorinating and pre-medicating and pre-salting the water before it goes back in. Hey guys! I just wanted to update you guys really quick. Today I woke up and he wasn't looking good at all. He was just right back to being very lethargic. He was barely swimming, he was just kind of there, sitting, not sitting, fish don't sit. Um, he was just floating in the water, but not on the surface, like in, like, in, you know, in the water. He just looked bad, like really bad, and I'm really worried that it's like the meds that I'm putting in the water that aren't helping him. Um, like meds are good for getting rid of the parasites, but I don't think it's helping him recover from everything. And I'm really nervous, like I just don't know at this point, like I don't know. I don't want to stop the treatment. Um, there's only two more days left of the malignant green treatment. So I don't want to stop now. I want to finish with the parasites, but I don't know. I am going to be continuing the salt treatment up till day 10. I'm really worried now because today is going to make six days that he has not wanted to eat and I know fish can go a long time without food but I don't think that's helping him get any better so I don't know at this point I'm really considering force feeding and, and I've been researching on that and apparently there is a way but I'm a little bit nervous to do it um, so I'm gonna give him today to eat and if he doesn't um, tonight I'm going to go ahead and force feed just a small amount just I really want to get some nutrition into him so I'll keep you guys updated on Instagram and on Facebook on how that goes um, so yeah have a good day or a good night and I love you guys bye I'm so sad. Somebody please say something to cheer me up. I would really appreciate that and I would love you forever. Hey guys, so for anybody wondering about the force feeding, I've already done it. By the time this video was edited and uploaded, you know, it happened. So I'm going to include a clip right here, but there will be more details in the next videos. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.